Hi everyone, my name is Lee Plowman and I'm an optometrist and I help optometrists to simplify their marketing and get new patients online. Sign up today for my free email newsletter at optomly.com.au. Today I'm excited to share with you about how you can prepare for the next Warby Parker. In this episode, you'll learn how to find your potential patients, how to show your practice's uniqueness, and how you can adapt to the changing digital environment. To help private practitioners, Review of Optometric Business and Vision Source publish their navigation guide to megatrends in eye care practice. In the 2016 edition, they found six key areas. One of those was called the world's gone digital. It's no surprise that there's been a seismic shift in communications with the rise of the internet and smartphones. The mega trend shows why it's so easy for companies like Warby Parker to start from scratch and grow a multi-million dollar business. So here's some things that the next Warby Parker knows. Number one, the next Warby Parker knows that patients are online. According to Pew Research, nearly 9 in 10 households have access to the internet at home. Add to this that 73% of adults use the internet daily. What devices do they use? 73% of adults have a desktop or laptop, 68% have a smartphone, and 45% have a tablet. And they tend to use different devices for different reasons. Some use a mobile phone early in the morning and switch to a desktop at work. Some use their mobile phone again at lunch and then a tablet again at night while watching TV. The next Warby Parker knows that they have to be easily accessed across different devices. Number two, they know that patients use social media. 65% of adults use at least one or more social media site. They know that while Facebook is the clear leader, other social media sites like Instagram and Snapchat are major players. Number three, the next Warby Parker also knows that patients are researching products and prices online before making a purchase. So where have they learned to do this? Schools and colleges. After all, what's the difference between researching an assignment versus researching a new healthcare provider? The next Warby Parker knows that people tend to visit review sites like Yelp, TripAdvisor and others. Yelp alone has over 142 million visitors to its website each month. The next Warby Parker knows that they need good reviews in order to, to succeed. What other advantages does the next Warby Parker have? Well, they know that over 80% of private practitioners have a website, but most don't update theirs. They only update a couple of times per year. These private practitioners also don't clearly say how they're different from each other. All that the next Warby Parker has to do is offer a unique experience and they're ahead of everyone else. They also know that 90% of private practitioners can't make appointments from their websites. This means that there's a gap between when patients are motivated to have an eye test and when they actually go to pick up the phone. The next Warby Parker knows that they can capitalise on the instant booking or refraction and make a quick dispensing sale. The next Warby Parker also knows that 79% of private practitioners have a social media account and this is mainly a Facebook page. However, only half of practitioners update their page weekly or more. The next Warby Parker knows that they can share with patients about success stories and other exciting things. They have a consistent message and feel to their posts and they can choose the best place to start a social media following, whether it's Facebook or another network. Both you and the next Warby Parker know that there's an overwhelming number of patients who use the internet and social media and it's becoming more pervasive, almost like an essential service such as electricity, water 
or gas. What can you do? John Pierpont, JP Morgan wrote that the first step towards getting somewhere is to decide that you're not going to stay where you are. Decide that you won't let the next Warby Parker take your patience. So what can you do? Number one, choose what type of practice you'd like to have. Are you a specialised practice? If not, what's your unique feature? Number two, identify the type of experience that patients will have. That is, how do they feel after walking back to their car? Try and bottle this feeling. And then make sure that other patients can see this communicated clearly on your website and social media. And also commit to asking your best patients where they spend their time online and then build a presence there. What else can you do? Ask patients for their email address and mobile phone number. These two things are the hub of our digital lives. If you're changing the look and feel of your practice, you'll likely want to update your website and your social media strategy. Like you, I'm an optometrist and private practitioner. I'd love to help your practice thrive and avoid starving for patients when the next Warby Parker arrives. Email me at lee, L-E-I-G-H, at optomlink.com.au for a free quote for your website and social media strategy. I hope today that you've learned how to find new patients online, how to show your unique differences as a practitioner, and how to navigate the changing digital environment. Thanks for watching today. I hope you found it helpful. Please forward this to a friend as well who might find it useful. If you haven't already, please sign up for my free email newsletter. Head to optomly.com.au forward slash updates. And that way the updates will go straight to your email inbox and you'll never miss an update. Also, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and it's another great way to stay up to date. Thanks for, again for watching and please stay tuned for more.